Hi guys, Mr. Simons here. Just want to talk to you about um, how to incorporate the cartoon or the secondary text into your um, essay because some of you are um, doing a separate paragraph altogether to deal with the cartoon. That's fine, but what I'd like you to do is actually um, have a topic sentence which has an argument at the top and then discuss specific language from the article and then have a look at the cartoon as well. So look at the secondary text alongside the primary text, okay? So what I'm reading from here is the um, the exam report from last year's exam. Uh, in it, they talk about pictures and images. So um, just have a look up here. Uh, it says students are expected to acknowledge and explore the way visual features were used in adding persuasiveness to the entire piece. So this is uh, one piece rather than the secondary text, uh, but it still applies to secondary text. There are very few students who did not try to work with the visual material. There is no expectation that students should write a lengthy paragraph on the graphics. Notice that there's no expectation to write lengthy paragraphs on the graphics. Just deal with them and analyze them. The shorter, sharper reference often works more effectively, and those who can integrate the analysis of the visual into the broader argument show greater mastery of the task as seen in the following example. Okay, notice that those who can integrate the analysis of the visual into the broader argument show greater mastery of the task. Let's, let's read. This is a, an actual student's work from the exam last year. Um, if you'd like to look at the source material, the uh, actual article uh, that was in the exam, that's, uh, that can be found uh, as well. I'll put the link up for you. Initiating her advertorial, that's the text type, and um, an advertisement and an editorial together, they called it an advertorial, initiating her advertorial in a pleasant and cheerful voice, notice the discussion of tone here, Astaire, the, the author, demonstrate, demonstrates her store's attributes in a listing of services offered in the healthy meals, many specials, locally sourced food, and how they abolished plastic bags long before the big stores. So the issue is about um, plastic bags and things. But here we've got device. Um, so to demonstrate the store's attributes, that's the kind of overarching idea. Here's, uh, so that's topic sentence, jumping into device here, and then an example from the text that is listing. See that? Device and then specific quote which evidences the device. In this, Astaire appeals to those in her audience that have strong communal values. Notice that discussion of um, specific audience. Her audience that have strong communal values, an audience that has strong communal values. As the author attempts to prompt readers to recognize that Haley's local store is an integral part of the town. Notice this is the effect, all right? This is the effect right here. This is further demonstrated. Now here's a connection to the images. This is further demonstrated in the imagery as they incorporated into her photograph of a man in a suit shaking the hand of a smiling grocer in front of a display of fresh produce. Notice that is overall description of what is in the image. Here's some analysis. The juxtaposition of the man's tailored suit. Notice the specific element of the picture, the tailored suit and the woman's plain shirt and apron, and here's what it does, here's the analysis of what those specific elements do, attempts to paint her in an unembellished and trustworthy light to readers. So two specific elements of the picture, tailored suit, woman's plain shirt and apron, and then here's analysis of what it does. All right, uh, notice here's some more analysis straight away. The simplicity of a uniform is orchestrated to make her seem friendly, that's the effect, and a part of the local community, not one of the big stores. Notice how um, short and sharp this analysis is. You can do this with your secondary text, which is going to be a cartoon, um, by first having a topic sentence, which is about the argument, an argument that both of the uh, article and the cartoon make. Then you dive into specific language choices and specific elements of the image and the cartoon and compare them with each other. Okay, thanks guys. I hope that was helpful.
Bye-bye.